So one of my most popular dishes on my site is my Whole30 Pad Thai, and I just had to share it with you guys because it is one of my personal favorites too. So let's go in my kitchen and make my Whole30 Pad Thai. First thing we're gonna do is prepare spaghetti squash, and you can do this in the oven, and I'll swipe, if you want that method, you can swipe up, but I'm gonna do this in an Instant Pot to cut down a ton of time, cut it right in half, and I'm gonna scoop out all these seeds. Okay, I've got all the seeds cut out. I've got this little insert in there and one cup of water on the bottom. I'm gonna pop that in there, seal it. And then we're gonna go manual and we're gonna go for seven minutes and leave it right there. And then once it's done, we'll have some perfect spaghetti squash. So that's seven minutes in the Instant Pot and it is perfectly cooked spaghetti squash for our Pad Thai. The Pad Thai sauce. And I've got half a cup of coconut aminos. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of coconut milk and I went ahead and blended this up so it's all smooth and not separated. And then two tablespoons of almond butter. I really like this Crazy Richard's almond butter because it's really smooth and a little liquidy so it's not too thick. A tablespoon of rice wine vinegar and then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, and then a teaspoon of red boat fish sauce. Got two cloves of garlic minced going in there, and then this an inch of ginger, I'm just gonna grate right into there. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two chai chilies for a little bit of heat. If you can't find Thai chilies, add about a fourth a teaspoon of crushed red pepper or just, you know, about a teaspoon of chopped serrano pepper. Chicken breast, this is one pound against the grain. And you can see the grains going this way and I'm just gonna slice it as thin as possible. of salt and pepper and I'm going to add two tablespoons of arrowroot starch and I'm going to toss it and coat it. Add two tablespoons of oil on a skillet over medium high heat and I'm going to add my chicken and I'm going to spread it out so it's in a single layer and get it nice and seared and cooked through. And that's going to take about seven minutes. A lot of you are asking about my skillet. This is a ballerini skillet. It's my favorite cookware and I'm actually doing a big giveaway on my page so be sure to head over and enter. Scrambled here. I'm going to skew everything over to the side, pour that in, and just kind of let it set like an omelet. That I just kind of scramble it up and then add it into the chicken. All that yummy pad thai sauce. And it's going to thicken up real quick because of all the air root starch in there. And then I'm going to start adding in some more veggies. I'm just going to let this sit for about 30 seconds. Put a cup of matchsticks carrots and then this is four green onions that I cut into like two inch chunks. Add that in there. I'm adding in that spaghetti squash, about four cups will do. And just get it nice and fully coated. And this is gonna be ready to eat. Okay, so here's the finished product and I've got all sorts of garnishes on there. I've got lime, cilantro, Thai basil, you can use regular basil, chopped up cashews, bean sprouts, and some of the other goods that are already inside there on top. This is going to be delicious.